Good morning, children. I hate wearing my glasses, but a contact uh, malfunction forced me to do this. I just don't get good peripheral vision. I can see like this glare on the screen. It's driving me nuts. All right. Well, it's not a very far trip. I don't even have to get in the car or get the keys. Okay. Today, we're going to work on literary elements vocabulary. And you guys are going to whatever folder I have it in. Again, you will have a pretest to do. Obviously, again, you guys are not going to. Um, yeah, you're not going to do this pretest at home. It will be worth 32 points. It'll be one of those again that you get, you're going to get just 10 out of 10. The 32 points is not going to count against your final grade. Again, that's it's it's a pretest. So, again, please do not freak out about if you do bad in the pretest. But then, you guys are going to do literary elements, um, literary elements vocabulary. I just said literary vocabulary. I screwed up on that. I'll have to fix that later. Okay. You guys will go into Google Docs and you'll do it and you'll submit it through there. You're going to have 16 words to do. You please find and type the definitions for each word. Then give one synonym and one antonym for each word. The definition number that you need to use is in parentheses. I want you guys to use dictionary.com and thesaurus.com. Please use the page break on the next page to complete the assignment. I will do one with you. We see these 16 words. Number one, autobiography. Number two, plot. Number three, protagonist. Number four, antagonist. Number five, theme. Number six, external conflict. Number seven, internal conflict. Number eight, cause. Number nine, effect. Number 10, dialogue. 11, point of view. 12, exposition. 13, rising action. 14, falling action. 15, climax. And then 16, resolution. And so again, you go to this next page, break again. You type in the definitions you find. You do one synonym, one antonym. Notice that I did number two for you. We're not going to do frayer models on this because some of these words are kind of hard to draw pictures to. Number two, plot. Again, if we go back up to what we see, I'm going to make this a little bigger. I keep forgetting to do that every time I record these videos. We see that we're going to do definition number two for plot. So if I were to go to dictionary.com, I type in the word plot. Again, number one is a secret plan, which we're not using a secret plan when we're talking about literary elements, whether it's fiction or nonfiction. We're talking about the storyline, the plan, the scheme, or main story of a literary or dramatic work as a play, novel, or short story. So, get in here. <laughs> so you would... Again, you would go to this document and you would type out the definition or again, type it in kind of your own words so we know what it's supposed to be. And then we could go even to thesaurus. Retired. I'm getting his office. That was weird. Uh, no one's getting my office. I don't even have an office. I just have a room. So again, we wouldn't go plan or scheme. We would click on the one that says storyline because that's what we're looking for. And you would pick one of these words. And then again, if you go down, you see antonyms for them and you would pick one of those, which I decided to pick outline and inactivity. So notice again on these, there's no antonym for autobiography. There'll be synonyms and antonyms for plot, protagonist, antagonist, and 
theme, there'll be a synonym, but no antonym. External and internal conflict. Use conflict for the synonym. And yeah, just use conflict for synonym and antonym. Because realistically, an external conflict is the antonym of an internal conflict and so on and so forth. Cause and effect will both have synonyms and antonyms. Dialogue will have a synonym and antonym. Point of view will have no antonym. Exposition will have a synonym and antonym. Rising action, again, use falling action as an antonym. And falling action, use rising action as an antonym because they're the opposites of each other. And then climax will have a synonym and antonym. And resolution will have a synonym and antonym. But... Notice, instead of just the word resolution, um, use the definition denouement for the definition for resolution. Okay. Again, you guys will have the rest. You guys will have a day and a half in class to work on this. As always, pirates, if you have any questions, please message me on Schoolology. Thank you very much and have a super sparkly day.